It's early on a summer Sunday, and Roger Towner is preparing to step back in time. He's about to swap his 21st century life as a marine consultant to become a surgeon in 1642. He completes his transformation on the short journey to Little Woodham, which lies surrounded by trees close to the hustle and bustle of Gosport. There he joins some of his fellow villagers. They enjoy tasting life as it would have been 300 years ago. In the 21st century, I'm an infrastructure test engineer in IT. In 1642, I'm a blacksmith. This is a lovely environment to work in. And, uh, it separates it completely from the sort of job and stresses that I do in normal life. In the 21st century, I'm a carpenter by trade, and in the 17th century, I demonstrate wheel writing and archery. I hate the modern world. <laughs> it's too busy. I'd sooner come back in this time and just live a gentler life. When I'm in the 17th century, I'm button maker, basket maker, and storyteller. I would like the convenience of the hygiene and the running water and that sort of thing of the 21st century, but I love the peace and the quiet and the companionship of the 17th century. It seems a shame to let the 21st century intrude on this tranquil place, but actually that's the point. Visitors come here to experience the sights the sounds and the smells of 1642. Volunteers from the Gosport Living History Society have run Little Woodham for 35 years. It opens to the public on about 50 days a year, mainly at weekends and during school holidays. They aim to make the buildings, their costumes and the way they live their lives as historically accurate as possible. I'm a retired drama teacher, and in the village I play Bess, who is the ale housekeeper and the farmer's wife. The question I get asked most, and I hate to say this, is are they real? Is that real? And I have to answer, well, as the villagers are going to be eating it later, I do hope it is real. New recruits to the 17th century are always welcome. Soon we'll be going back in time and I'll be Tamara, he'll be Michael, and she'll be Tabitha. I can't imagine there's a single thing I'm wearing that I would still be wearing in the 17th century. My jewellery will all be different. I'm, unsurprisingly, I wouldn't be wearing a watch. I wouldn't have pierced ears. I'm not um, a sailor's wife. I'm not from um, Spain. Little Woodham isn't just popular with visitors. Filmmakers like it because it provides a ready-made set. In February 2018, Doctor Who came here. I must admit I found the story just a wee bit far-fetched. Local landowner is, I think, practicing witchcraft, but there are some aliens involved. But that they used our buildings, they were here for what seemed like forever. It was probably only two days. At the end of a day in 1642, the new recruits reflect on what they hope to get out of spending time here. When you come here, everyone's always happy. Yeah, it's like a little community. It is a community. It's a community of people. Yeah. Everybody knows each other. And we, as a family, we're all very interested in history as well, so we were really excited <laughs> to get this opportunity to join in. Soon it's time to leave 1642 and return to 2019. Maybe to take advantage of the best the 21st century has to offer. A warm shower, a cold drink, and time to relax in front of a TV. Richard Jones, ITV News, Little Woodham.